Well, they've been around forever, but will they last? It's up to us. That's one of the many questions facing those charged with studying and protecting our coral reefs that lie right off our shores. Tonight, James Whelan takes us inside a new facility dedicated to preserving this jewel of the ocean. The coral reefs off our shores generate nearly $6 billion for South Florida's economy. The mission of protecting them is part of this new multi-million dollar facility that opened today at Nova Southeastern University's Oceanographic Center in Dania Beach. The Coral Reef Research Center is the largest in the U.S. and will focus on the South Florida reef ecosystem. So by growing corals here in the nursery, um, we're able to grow them both for restoration purposes and for experimental purposes. The building like this and the dedicated research center like this will actually help providing the scientific background for better management of the nation's coral reef resources and therefore sustained income by keeping them attractive to the people who come to see them. The only reason that we dive is to see this amazing reef that's been forming for thousands of years, one on top of the other. If there is no coral reef, then there is no business for scuba diving or for even a, a fishing industry. This new center has created 22 new academic jobs and will employ 50 graduate students like Charlie and Eric here who are studying the effects of the Gulf oil spill on these shrimp. A $15 million federal stimulus grant was used to help fund the center with Nova Southeastern University picking up the rest of the $50 million tab. Every scientist of course dreams of having new labs and big labs and says, oh, if only I had this and that, I would be so much greater. And the greater they become, the healthier our coral reefs and oceans will be and the bigger the economic gain for our area will become. Reporting from Dania Beach, James Whelan, WPTV News Channel 5.